Hey, I wanted to um, come on here and uh, do a follow-up video to um, a shoot that we did a couple months ago. We found this really cool product uh, for fence posts, um, trying to make life easier, and uh, we saw a display of this. Um, like I said, the display looked great, and we actually went out and did this, um, and we thought it was cool, um, but I want to show you what happens with this product over time. This is a job that we did a couple years ago did this uh, privacy fence and we did everything we're supposed to do got our depth right and our diameter right on this um, but over the couple years this ground's kind of eroded away a little bit so if you see down here the ground has actually gotten below where our foam went so this is post foam it's a two-part epoxy it's kind of like uh, the same uh, chemical makeup that uh, spray foam is for your house insulation things so it's really cool, um, great idea. It comes in a bag. Like I said, it's two part and you separate the bag and it lets those chemicals mix. You shake it up real good, rip off the top and just simply pour it down the hole. Everything foams up. So if you've ever used great stuff or spray foam in a can, you know, once that chemical combines and it gets out in the air, oxygen hits it, it goes everywhere. Well, same thing here. And it was pretty cool. So it foamed up above the hole. We cut off, trimmed off all the foam once it was hardened. But over time, this is eroded and gotten below our foam line. So you can see that's not gonna work. So i um, trying to make a job a little bit easier. Um, doesn't always work all the time. I mean, we always wanna work harder and faster and more efficient. And sometimes we can find ways to do that. This, however, does not. So in order to fix this, um, I don't wanna take the whole fence down because we have dogs and neighbors and things. So what I wanna do is dig around this hole expose that foam um, I was looking for some rebar couldn't find these so in my shop I had some carriage bolts so what I'm going to do is insert these bolts in different locations in that foam and we're going to fill this with concrete it's going to go around these bolts and give it a whole lot of extra strength so um, I'm going to get to digging and uh, next um, next time you see us we'll uh, we'll have these installed we'll get ready to pour the concrete so stay tuned all right welcome back we spent uh, I don't know, about 15 minutes, got this hole ready. So I want to show you, if you come over here to look at the hole, we took those carriage bolts, shoved that into the foam, and you can see we went down really deep and we didn't really actually get to the bottom of the foam, but we did enough that's gonna take care of this wobbly fence problem. So once that concrete gets around all that steel and around that foam, we're gonna finish off the grade, cover it up with, uh, with this dirt that we dug out and let it sit overnight, should be good to go. So, if you ever run into these fence problems, this is an easy fix for it. Without having to tear everything down. Our ground's pretty much saturated from a few days of rain that we've had, and we've got more rain coming in, so I did this kind of dry. Sometimes, some people just pour dry concrete in there. Um, I guess it's all right in some applications. With this, I don't want to take a chance, since we already have a problem, um, especially fence post. Um, corner posts are very important to pour wet. Uh, your center support posts, if you have a high water table at your pro property, it's okay to pour some dry in there, but this application, I want to make sure everything was good so we don't have to come back. Homeowner's happy. And problem solved. So anytime you dig a hole, you take some dirt out of that hole when you're filling it back, it will settle. You've disturbed all that compacted dirt. So what I want to do is kind of tamp this down a little bit. And it looks pretty level, it looks pretty finished. Well, here in a few weeks, that's going to drop probably two to three inches. So 
I'm gonna pile some more on there so as that dirt settles, I'm gonna finish out with the rest of the yard. Look nice and level. So for about five bucks at Lowe's and went and got some concrete, had a couple carriage bolts, took maybe 30 minutes to get this fixed. So we'll check back with our next product. Until next time. Let's go